Hey Tara, it's a Thursday. It's, it is the hot seat with myself, Mastermind. As you know, on the hot seat, we interview ordinary South Africans who are doing extraordinary things. So my guest today, oh, he's a singer, he's a producer, he's, um, he's an all-round creative. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember him uh, from a very popular singing competition, which is called Idols. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just play a clip so that you can remember him. Welcome to the hot set. You don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. I just need your body, baby. From dusk till dawn. You don't need that. I'm gonna show you what I'm all about. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign that I'm compatible with. I just want your expertise and your <laughs> oh my god and they stand, and they stand bro jeez and they stand what's happening this guy is getting eliminated why is everyone standing no you uh, nailed it my nigga yo how's it bro how's it i'm okay how are you my g i'm good man yo oh. 2012. 2012. Yeah, man. Your life, your life is <laughs> 360 or 180 degrees. Uh, it's been eight years now. Jeez. Eight years since that moment. Eight years, man. How, how did how did that platform change your life? I oh, mean, hey, oh. dude, the industry knew me as an artist. Now you see the thing is. The significance of being an idols finalist instead of just an idols contestant is you guys are the actual cast on which the whole season is based. You see, the yes. top 10 is the actual cast on which the whole season is based. Why am I saying this? Because everyone else outside of the top 10 can come back to the competition. You see, everyone else. But the top 10, they are not called contestants. They are called finalists. That's why they get prices and they come back at the end, blah, blah, blah. So as far as the industry, that thing was an introduction at the right level. You know, my voice could be yes. heard, not, not for all its qualities, you know, but it could be heard and it was heard at the right platform. You see, I wish I could have yeah. stayed for longer because there is so much I wanted to do with my voice. You know, so much I wanted to expose. But yeah, point is, it's a big, big mega platform that is international to some degree. And it's full-on exposure, man, with 
uh, world class musicians backing you. So I was happy, and even the way in which the industry received me, man, it wasn't, yes, you know, straight to superstardom, but it was on some. We recognize you, my brother. We see the substance with which you are rolling. And I got invited to a lot. I started doing a lot. You see, so it definitely did open doors, man. Wow, man. I, I can imagine. I can imagine because, I mean, you open up two personal, not, not pages, accounts <laughs> on Facebook. Because the first one was full. And then you had to open the second one. Now, yeah, I saw man. the DMs. We're yeah. crazy. That's still crazy. <laughs> how did, how did you get the fame and, and, and all from of those who, things? Eh? DMs from uh, who? Ah, oh, my babies, you know. Once you <laughs> done, stop that. I knew. Ah, I know. knew it. I knew. <laughs> look, man. Look, 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 look. Babana, in life, anyone who yes. is given anything, anyone who is given anything, must. First and foremost, before pursuing any levels in that sphere, in that field, they must first and foremost accept yes. that every gift brings with it a certain level of attention. Every. Yes. There are levels, mm. there are differences in reactions, there are, you see, but whatever the gift, every gift brings with it a certain level of attention. And every gift in motion brings with it even more attention. So, True. Uh, in a way, I, I was ready for that because I've been singing since I was six, you see? So as far as attention from the females, man, I knew that everywhere I went, there's no crowd that ever gave me problems, you see? Whatever the age group, whatever the race, whatever the, the, the tribe, you know? So I went into this with full-on confidence, even when God burdened me with this thing because I actually wanted to be an economist first, you see. But even when God yes. burdened me with this thing, man, it made sense because I kept on achieving things that nobody around me ever thought were possible. You see, so, uh, yeah, man, yeah. you. I, I was ready to some degree, but obviously not to all the degrees, man. So much happened that overwhelmed the nigger, you know. My mind was not yeah. ready for a lot. You know, going from a point where you got celeb crushes to them saying, hey, Obi. Woo! You know, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it goes, yeah. No, honestly, G, honestly, it's, I, I know, I know people are people at the end of the day, you know, uh, and whatever. Okay. But obviously the, the woman's profile uh, kind of shakes you when a certain a woman of a certain caliber or a certain class, as we call them, starts hollering or they want to get with you or mm. certain people who are so big want to work with you or yes. you 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 traveling all over Nabozahara, all over the country, my guy. And it's not like you're backing anymore because wherever I went, people kept on screaming my name as well. You know, I had introduced myself. I had introduced myself. It was very clear that Uzahara, it was a gig I had before I went to Arrows and I continued with it because I don't come from money, me, my friend. You see, I don't come from the money. So I needed to hustle back a lot yeah. of people. Back a lot of people, man. I did voice sessions for albums. You probably don't even know, you see. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was hey, life-changing and overwhelming. With all of those that, that happening, where was your, your your family? How was the response from family? I mean, family gatherings. It might surely it was awkward at some point. You know, the attention. You know, people first expecting first. favors and all of those things. Yeah. Ah, the, the first mistake you made was assuming all families make families gatherings. <laughs> 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 I don't come from no such family gatherings. Never, mm. never. It was, it was. It, it, they are very rare, and they are usually around yeah. a certain happening, a certain funeral or wedding. You see, so we don't just have common every year. In fact, I wish I had those, but I can be the change I want to see. You see, but yeah, I, I didn't come That's from those. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, but there were, there were changes, man. There were changes. It was complicated. Yeah. Complicated, you know? Even now, it's still complicated. So, yeah. Uh, let's let's forget about that aspect for a while and talk about the industry aspect and the fans. <laughs> or maybe Umtolo. You can even ask me about dating, my friend. Uh, let's leave that one for now. Yes, because, yes I love People don't yes, understand I about me. Yeah. Listen, listen. What people need to yeah. understand about me is I am too honest. So yes. I would rather not touch on topics I'm not ready to talk about or topics that I'm not going to talk about in great detail and in great honesty. You see? Mm, so I, I don't want to have to tiptoe. Mm. You see? Even when you ask mm. me about Umjol, I will control the kind of questions, you see, because... I will never tiptoe. If it, if a question is already reaching those points, I will move from it somehow. You see? Because I'm too yeah. honest, my guy. I'm too honest. I'm I don't want to. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said that. But I yeah, know uh, Um Jolo at that time, I mean, no, there was no serious relationship. If there was, were you in a serious relationship? And if you were, did you survive? Because, hey, as I said, your DMs were crazy. Uh, especially when you interact with people live, it phew, that is crazy. It, it takes a real woman <laughs> to understand <laughs> what is happening because definitely, man, it definitely you were yeah, you, you were famous. Listen, you still are. Listen, <laughs> don't talk about the TMs. It's fine. Uh, listen, mm. um, in 2012, I broke up with. Uh, someone in February, you see, and the That's woman before. I was seeing, yeah, yes. imagine, <laughs> just yeah. before, <laughs> hey, <gasps> February, you know, we broke up, cafe, and then when this happened, you see, immediately when all yes. that attention came at the levels they came, I was immediately trying to go through whoever is saying what and see if. There's potential for something stable, mm. substantial, you see. Uh, because, yes. hey, my G, it was too much, yeah? And <laughs> you see, when you move from, I, I, was, I was popular, man. Even at school, TUT, man, I was popular. You know, even go, 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 like I've never had problems start attention, but what happened after Idols was a different level, you see. It was just, you know, yeah. I know it was a different level. It was, yeah, no. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it took a while to adjust, man, honestly, because even God says in the Bible that a man is tested when he is praised. You see? Yes. A man is tested when he is praised. So now, mm. on top of that, if you praise you, I give us women, and the beautiful, intelligent, mm. sexy, Oh, right. Yo, my G, it was, yeah, you see, because beauty comes in different packages, right? Definitely. Uh, I don't believe, this, yeah. I don't believe that the same kind of beautiful. Uh, so I kept on being exposed to a lot of beauty, man. And they were all showing so much love, you know, some of them falling in love with the artist, thinking they love the person, you know. Anyway, let's some of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a difference, there's man. A there's, a those. Difference. there's a difference, you know. Probably there's a lot of those, you know. Hey, Fana, yeah, yeah. But I guess it's up to me. It's up to me to to handle it and manage it because I, I know. Remember what I said in the beginning that any gift, any talent, mm. brings with it a certain level of attention. Now, any talent yeah. in motion their attention multiplies, you see. So depending on the sphere and the industry and the context, it can even be exponential growth. You see? Yeah. And yeah. anyone was... that is famous that you kind of vibed with, that you think, eh, gube, sister, that isn't to another level. Just one person. Who did what? <laughs> hmm? One person who did one. what? Who did what? One want? famous one that famous girl that you, you you vibed with or you dated that you felt eh, we could have taken things to another level uh comrade what's your problem here 
<laughs> Mi-a luat, <laughs> gândi, what's your problem? What's your problem? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Yeah. Uh, where the candidates? Absolutely. Ah! Too much. Too many. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Options are many, but candidates are few. <laughs> ah, definitely. The ones that, you know, you think, okay, Lana, we can... You know what I mean? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah man. The, yeah. I've never been about about the, the, the power couples exposing of the lifestyle kind of thing, you see. I just want to be known yeah. for my music and purely for my music and my work and how I affect others and the yeah. business, maybe. Even with my business side, I don't want to talk much, you see? Yeah, so yes, I just want to be known for this thing, man, because through this one thing, I've seen that God has given me the power to influence, affect, and inspire so many, you see? So uh, um, I just want to keep on doing this. Man, this is something that I do, and I don't just get satisfied, and I just don't just get fulfilled. Other people get from this. Other people receive from this. I mean, one of my fans from Idols, think about it. One of my fans from Idols just did a woolen portrait, a whole portrait in wool for me, my G. You see, all because of I think I saw this that thing on, on, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. And she's one of them, but this is a level. Others did other things. You see, there are people who keep on giving me testimonies, man. There are people who keep on telling me what. Uh, it, look, I don't take this lightly. And when you don't take it lightly, you know, you will work more on trying to manage the attention that comes with it because that attention can damage you. We saw what happened to Solomon. We saw what happened to Samson. Mm. You see? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You, we, we can't rely on people to be too responsible with how the anointing and the gift affects them. You see, it's about you knowing yeah. that that which you carry has the ability and the capacity to do one, two, three, and to affect people in one, two, three ways. You see? So, I yeah, man, I grew so really much. Well. I grew. I grew. And they, they uh, people are just happy, man. This is what I'm saying. Everywhere I go, I get new fans. People are happy. People are buying the album. They are wondering how I'm not on the charts. So many, like, it's consistency everywhere I go, you see. So I just need to gather a huge marketing campaign and do things in a way that deserves to be done, you see. I haven't done any videos, for example, for my album. You see, no videos. But I will never do mediocre. I will never. Same way it took me 32 years to release my first album, you see. I won't do mediocre until I get to a point where I can partner with the right people, ready to the right marketing campaign, you see? Yeah. Otherwise, people will just enjoy the audio because <laughs> I went too hard, man. If it can't be done right, I'm not going to do it. If it can't be done right, I'm not doing it. I purchased, I purchased your album yesterday. I wasn't supposed to tell you this. Um, mm. Online. I'm still here yes, to listen to it. Because I listen to albums in a different state. When I'm cleaning, whether I'm in, on the road, um, when I'm doing something, you know. It's good for those I'll, two. I'll be able to keep. It's very good for those two. Oh, for, for driving, two. it's amazing. Ah, for I'll, driving, I'll it's amazing. I'll give a huge review uh, on that. Thank you so much. I know it's a beautiful I album. Uh, I know it's a beautiful That's album. another thing we, no. we people do, do wrong, yeah. you know. Because people love you so yeah. much, but now... They forget to 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 review and, and and tell others, you know, and that's how the word spreads, yeah. especially when when the media is not is yes. not reacting. Yes. That's how it's going to spread. Now people yes. are loving the album. They are even asking me for a second one. But now, how do I go to a second album when the first one hasn't received the right uh, amount of exposure? You see, I can't do that. I can't do platinum that. for this so, one. So then maybe you can do the second I, one. Minimum. Oh my God. Let's not forget the key word. Minimum. Minimum, minimum platinum. Yes. Min my G. Minimum. Uh, there's no way. There's no way. Please go and listen to that album and tell me because yes. everywhere I go, I get the same thing. But now people compliment wow. private privately. They compliment privately. They like. They share. Uh, sometimes you see, but they like, like they like more and they inbox more. 
you see. But now that's not enough because when you inbox, those things don't even do good for my numbers on social feeds because I'm a brand, you see. The mentions make a difference. But now people mm. are not used to, to making noise about people who are not always on the screen. Yes. Yes. People are not used to making noise about people who are not always on the screen. Even when you affect them, they will compliment you privately. They will tell you what privately, whatever, whatever. Even now, my guy, the, the love from the people is the fuel, you know, that keeps me going. You know, I'm relying on God as a life source, but I'm telling you the love I get from people and the constant positive feedback and the love, man, and the overwhelming internationals, man, everywhere. You see, that thing keeps me going. Yeah. But now I wish people knew that that same love, that same energy, if they go with it to, to social media, it could make such a huge difference. If they were consistent sure. and all of them For decided sure. to speak, if all of them decided to speak, because I'm telling you, people are asking for my shows, people are asking for this everywhere, you see? But now, the, 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 the culture, it's like the culture of buying CDs. It's not yet in the people bagokas. You see, it's not yet mm. a culture of This is the honest yes. truth. That's why mm. the biggest brands in the country struggle to get platinum. Ukremoto, two million followers. Maru Ukra fella, double platinum. Double platinum Ghana is 60,000 CDs. Yes. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Mm. Look at the ratio. Look at the ratio. You see? So the culture of buying it was not instilled. We are one of those ones that are fighting to make it a norm. Remind people and show them with the very small things that Oja beggar for 100 rand and Jayan. In eight hours, that thing will be gone. What I'm giving you here is going to stay. You see, 100 rand versus yes. 100 rand. Stay with they you. must be used to spending and understand that recreation and music is not something that is optional. That's why everything in the world makes better sense with music. Yes, I agree with you 100%. Now, now yeah, talking man. about music, how come you never signed with any uh, 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 recording label? Oh, you did. Oh, what, what happened? Why you never signed with any recording label? Oh, you don't trust the recording labels? What's your no, story? No, 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 no. I come from no money, so there's no way I can come with this nonsense of saying I don't trust record labels. That's a cheese boy story, that thing there. You see, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cheese boy story, that thing. So me, I yeah. was looking at the black and whites, you see. One thing I want mm -hmm. is what am I going to get? Uh, what are they saying as mm -hmm. far as the, 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 the deal, you see, for the ownership mm -hmm. of material and also the kind of artist they want That's to nice. make me. I'm a versatile artist, so a lot of people wanted to make me what they thought I could be, you see. So mm. I don't want, I wanted somebody who wanted to hear what I wanted to say and amplified on that, you see. Mm. I get you, yeah. Yeah, so I we, I, I had deals, man. I had deals. I almost signed with Robi Malinga's label, uh, Hit House yes. Records. I almost signed with that. Uh, I almost signed with Bo Giselle Records. I almost signed with Universal as well. I almost signed with Linda Lanning Keys's record, you see. But now the problem is uh, there were like no black and whites, my guy, that are clear, you see. Me, I will get excited when I know what you are saying. But when, I, when all you are showing is interest, uh, I can't jump in. You see, I can't just jump in. I want to know what you are saying. What if you are taking me and you want me to do Kwaito? Because I can do that. You know, or what, if, what if they take me and they want me to be a rapper? To all the ladies in the place, what style and grace allow me to lace this lyrical dishes in your bushes? Who rocks grooves and make moves with all your mamas? The back of the club, sippy more wet is where you find me. That kind of thing. Hey. Is it? Hey. What if? Yeah. So I want to hear what you're saying in detail so that when I agree, we know what we are saying, we are on the same page, and then we can just boom. I obviously shown myself on talent shows. Obviously, I wanted to be signed, you see. But now nobody was speaking yes. the right thing. They were just showing interest, shaking my hand, asking for meetings, 
I was always the one going behind them saying, okay, since I waited, uh, since I waited, you said we are working, yeah. when are we going to studio? You see? Mm. So as soon as I saw uh, I'm not a priority, I started my own label. Ah, uh, I, I, yeah, man. Ah, uh, I, yeah, man. I best started my own label. Best. My first album, yeah. my first artist is Over King. My first album, it took me two years to record. I spent two, over 200K to make that album with so many musicians six pianists, four bass guitarists, two guitarists, two drummers, nine backing vocalists. Uh, six features, you know, every one of them had their own day in studio. They didn't even meet each other. They just heard the product. Oh, because I was oh, in production. Before, you just said a, a huge number there. We can't pass by. 200K. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. If I know, where's the money from? It was me. It was me. Remember, I hustled. I hustled yeah. a lot, man. Let me, let's, let's just talk about, let's just talk about the hustle year industry. For example, yeah. uh, I was on early 2006, uh, 2007, yes. I, I, was, I was with Sharon D, 2008, so you, I joined Spirit Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then 2008, I did Spirit of Praise, uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2, Baking Bokeke, Andile Pitoa, Asa, Avis. My favorite Spirit uh, of Praise, by the way, those yeah. two. 2009, I went back to I to, to Gem A. And then mm. 2010, I auditioned for pop stars. I got to top 60. Then I lost my phone. Long story. Uh, 2010 again, I went to Shine. They rejected me. Anyway. <laughs> uh, 2011, lost, yeah. I went to Idols. Uh, Idols, mm. I, I got kicked out first day of Sun City. So I got golden ticket. And then Sun City first day, they kicked me out. I'm like, ah! How come? I'm making people crazy where Damn. I come from. You're going to tell me. Oh, how come? Yes. You see, even the contestants, I can tell you this. When I was eliminated on the first day of Sun City, when they said I'm going home, there was silence in the auditorium. Silence in the auditorium from, from the contestants. They were... Zoom. That gave me oh. comfort. I don't want to lie to you. That gave me a lot of comfort. It gave me a lot of comfort and I gathered up the strength to come back again, you know, because I knew even the game changers, the players themselves were recognizing the level at which I was, I was operating, you see. So it was just a matter of not the right time, not the right season. Let me come back. Keep trying. Because this is the entertainment industry. You are not just rejected yes. for lack of time. You see, sometimes it's a lack of, it's an issue of timing. Sometimes it's an issue of the type of artist, etc. So I went back in 2012. I uh, got to top 10. But February 2012, after my breakup, I started uh, making Zahara. Yeah. <laughs> you have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> she probably looked at you. I mean, she probably hey, beat herself that? up, man. Yeah. She beat herself up. Because imagine oh, you break up with someone. Right, Two months, man. three months later, the whole world is going crazy over that someone that you broke up yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, talking, yeah. even your friends. <laughs> Ah, even your friends, your, mama. Uh, your friends yeah, are going man. crazy about the same person. I your, know it's fine, but I never even checked a, up. You were part. You were part of a, an history. A, 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 you're part of a historic uh, a season eight. I mean, that was the first. Uh, that was the Let's best win. idols a uh, season. You know, yeah. Tell them, first, my like, friend, tell them but, those guys. You know, the best idol. Uh, to, to, be, to be to 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 tell you the truth. It, you were not sure who's gonna win. Do you understand? Thank you. And there was a Thank lot you. of people that were were, were kind of for that. Shekana, Siri Tenyane, Simpiwe Kwekwe, Mondem Sutaza. You know, fair to you. <laughs> and 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 I, the winner himself now, she Luguti. Yeah. They have in Zima. He had to dig yeah. deep in order for him mm. to be crowned. And, and, and you heard what the winner said, man. You heard what the winner said, ne? Okay. He said, Be besides interviews, he, he was even on You magazine. Even yeah. CD said the same thing. They said, I honestly thought Oba King was going to win. Wow. Both of them recorded. 
Wow. It was even on magazines and interviews on TV. They, he said wow. it himself. I, I actually, see, honestly, that was the thought, best oh season. God. If the winner in herself, Abona Banyabantu, and you left, go top 10. Ben, and top if five. My, my elimination of top 10 got a standing ovation. Mm. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? So Amen. that was a dope season. Amen. That was a dope season. Yeah. No, no, it was. So my brother, it was, uh, still is the best season. Yeah, yeah man. man. So yeah, you hustled, you hustled, Biggie Mali, and then that cash you used. You know, I begged Zahara. Zahara, I worked with Zahara the most, man. I traveled with her. Of course, mm. I had individual gigs. I had gigs with Bomi Casa. I had gigs with uh, Giselle Brothers. You know, I featured uh, Ko DJ's Boost album. Uh, mm. I, I worked with Robi Malinga as well. Uh... What else did I do, man? Yo, I got a track with Mr. Selwyn and uh, with ammunition on production. Uh, uh, the legend himself. My G, my G. You know, I've worked oh. with legends. I've been blessed, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I was saving money, you know, as I was doing that. Plus, I did other jobs on the side, man. Those I don't want to talk about. <laughs> Your side hustle. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. How, how was it like working with Ubulelwa, uh, Muzahara? Uh, uh, Zahara is amazing, I mean, man. Zahara is amazing. Yeah. Zahara is, is 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 like a sister to me now, man. You know, uh, after so many years of working together, I even have a track with her. You know, she she has been she has been amazing. We 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 connect in a in a special way. You know, that's why, yeah. She's she has been amazing to work with. Even the whole team, man. Bosoni, Mosala, you know, she made the job easy, man. You know, because she was my partner most times. Even Nom The way that you're talking about her, she would she was paying you well as well. The way that you're talking about her, she was paying you well. Let's leave the money issues. No, man. It was it was it was a it was a beautiful platform. It was a beautiful platform. So even Nomte yes. was recorded of Jerusalem. We were backing together. You remember? Um, mm. You remember? Mm. Yeah, yeah man. Faces, we were backing together there. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah, yeah. Man. You know, we now we want to talk about the now life after okay. idols. I mean, and 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 okay. Before we get to the now, in twenty seventeen, you lost the brand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in music man. and in a brother mm. in general, Jay. Mm. Um, what role did Dumi play in your life? And if he was here today, what would you say to him? If you get an opportunity, let's just say to speak to him, to just 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 for a couple of minutes, what would you say to him? Oh, uh, hey, my G. But when I, if, if, if you know it's just for a couple of minutes and you know it's your last conversation, I was going to talk mm. to him about God. <laughs> he knows mm. and understands this. I was going to talk to him about God. We were going to sing together. We were going to preach to each other. You see, so when you know it's the last one, I, I, we were going to be very deep because me and him were never about totally funny or just singing. You see, uh, we... Yes. Yeah, man, we, 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 we were deep, we were deep, man. He was a preacher, people don't know this. Uh, we preached to each other, man. We preached, uh, we, we were singers, part-time rappers, we played instruments, we were dancers. Uh, you know, like we, we had talents that just, just worked well together. They worked very well together and we appreciated each other. And there was no quarrel. You see, that's very important. You find a brother who has no envy, who has no, 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 no problem, man, with you being an alpha, who even acknowledges the, the, the areas in which you are stronger. You see? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our friendship was, was interesting like that, man. It was, it, was, it was a brotherhood, man. You know, two alphas that work well together. That thing doesn't happen often. There's usually one alpha in the crew. So me and him were mm. both alphas, very strong in the head, very stubborn. 
But at the same time, <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, we found a way to to work well together. You see, hey, I don't know how to say it, man. This is what you're touching this deep. <laughs> No, I can tell. I can tell, man. It was going to be difficult to say goodbye. I mean, I mean, imagine if you are told, no, he's going to leave now in 10 minutes. It's going to be hard to pin down everything. Uh, because well, was, That's was when more. all my wisdom, all my sweet yeah. and smart and deep vocabularies and whatever, they all go out the window. Because right there, we are faced with the end of a life, you see? And after the end of a life, mm -hmm. as far as what we believe in, there's an encounter with your creator. Nobody wants to meet the creator as a ready. And everybody, when, think, when they think about meeting the creator, we want to get things right. Everybody is on that tip. So even me as a friend, I would speak words from the word of God. I would tell him life. You see, that's where I would be. You see, yeah. Mara, generally, I would be thankful, man. I would be thankful. The kind of friendship I experienced with him, it was special. It was special. And that's why I sang at his wedding, I sang at his birthday, I sang at his funeral, I sang at his memorial service, I sang at his launch, CD launch. Uh, where else did I sing for this boy? You see, so... Did, we, did we you just sing as well, Baban Vela, that theater that they named after him? Did you sing as well? You know what I mean! You know what I mean! Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now I have to, I have to, have to, have to do a show there. I have to, everybody is saying it, but even with that show, I'm saying the same thing I am saying with, for example, video for Victorious. My G, mm -hmm. listen to that song called Victorious and pump it up as you drive, okay? I can never come with some substandard visuals. I can never. I can't come with some substandard visuals. That thing needs to be as legendary. It needs to be as timeless as the sound suggests. We need some movie-like theatrics there, you see? So I, I won't do it if I can't do it right. I won't do it if I can't do it right. So uh, even with that show at Dumi Masilela Theater, I am not going to do it unless I can do it right. I need to bring the right band, my guy. The music needs to be on the right level. You see, I'm going to bring the mm. right supporting cast because Rabba Swega worked with and performed with a lot of people. A lot. Yes. Too many, trust me. In a short space of time, we performed with too many people. You see, it's just that we couldn't make as much money as we should have. This opportunity and this blow up found us when we were not ready administratively and as a company, you see. Yes. Mm. Wow. And, and speaking about Rabba Swega, um, um, I'm gonna, we're going to touch more uh, 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 on the magazine uh, interview. But here, yeah, we're just going to talk. Where is Phil? Where is he based now? Uh, did he yeah, attend yeah. the funeral? And, and and are you guys still friends and, and all? Yeah. No, man, Phil, we, we're still cool. Me, I never had beef with anyone, you see. E ever since the group started, I was the wise man. I was the peacekeeper. Uh, I was, yeah, like, I'm that guy. I'm chill, man. Even after the group uh, collapsed or Phil left. Actually, the group never collapsed. Phil left. So even after yes. Phil left, uh, I was still in touch with all of them. You see, our, I, we never had beef. So Phil is in Lion King, uh, the Hong Kong. Uh, he's doing very well there, and he's also he's still releasing music, you see. But we're going to come back, my guy. We're going to come back with a one-time Rabba Swagger project. One time. I'm telling you, you are the first person I've ever mentioned this to. Exclusive. We're going to come back with a, a one-time Rabba Swagger project. One time. One time. To the memory of our boy as well. You know, also the fact that we never yeah. got to do a project then. Hence I was saying it found us at a time when we were not ready administratively. You see. So yeah. Phil is around. I featured them on my album on one track. There's a Rabba Swega reunion there, you know. Uh, it's called Victorious. And they didn't even know I'm doing that, you know. So the fact that I could surprise them and get them emotional like that for this song is also another bonus, you know? Yeah, music is wow. spiritual. It, 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 it touches in ways and, and, and places we can't explain. You see, even the very makers yes. of the music go back to the music for healing. I know I'm talking from experience. For sure. I'm gonna, speaking about Rabba Swag, I'm going to go to a clip of Rabba Swag and then you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, we're going to speak about that clip and, and what was happening on the day and how much you guys got paid. 
for that kick. <laughs> after this. <laughs> There's a kick. That was, I see, I see. Where, where were you? Where were you guys? Uh, 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 and how much did you guys get paid? It must have been an emotional uh, uh, performance. I mean, we were we at church. Uh, that thing was not a gig, my friend. We were singing at a church in Alberton. Uh, so, yeah, somebody recorded us with, yeah, uh, yeah. We were singing and it was not a paying gig, man. We were just excited that this group is new. We had just found each other. We were traveling to so many places just singing, you know? Uh, I think that's also how our chemistry got nurtured and we found our sound. Oh, your network. I would call is that. it? Are you, can you hear me? I can. Um, yeah, I'm saying... Kalamatin. Oh, <laughs> man, man, I'm saying that we were not getting paid for that gig, man. We were singing at a church uh, because in Alberton, 
because we were just excited about finding this group and finding each other and we just wanted to flex them harmonies we just wanted you know so it helped a lot that's also how we ended up finding ourselves the same um maybe leave and come back again uh okay i'll wait for you yeah let's, let's try that yeah man um that trick is bad man uh but we're about to wrap it up he's speaking to oba king ramabu ah yeah man talented creative man um as you can see his, his, his resume man contestants from june 2006 to february the top 10 idols my g can you hear me now i love it it's still the same uh oh can we finish it's fine now huh? it's fine there we go there we go oh. now we're okay. talking so yeah man here i am and now we're talking these things you see these are the things you're talking about i'm trying to find the i need a physical copy yeah. you owe us a physical copy um and we can, is that we can even get, uh, we can even try giving one of your, a few of your of your subscribers only those who subscribe subscribers ne? we can give mm -hmm. your subscribers uh five cds five cds okay you see Fantastic. so me i will send them to you and then you will connect okay. with them yeah definitely please do please yeah. do yeah because i need everybody to hear this you know somebody asked me what i wanted and i'm like even if i don't sell millions which i believe i deserve uh but i just want a chance for south africans to hear the project i wish everybody could have a chance to at least hear the project all of it and then have an opinion ah get it get it now get it now get it yeah, because I, i believe in the musicians i used i believe in the project i believe in the concept you know i used the same musicians that the people on the charts and legends use my guy i didn't go for mediocre i went for talent plus cv you know so i was that serious about what i was doing you know so let's do it let's share uh we're gonna give five to whoever subscribes to your channel five. Five, my guy. Five. You ever subscribe to five your channel? Them. Five okay. albums. And the others must buy. The others must buy. It's just hundred rand. I must buy. No. It's they just hundred. It's beautiful. Fourteen CDs that buy. we really took time to write and produce, man. Fourteen beautiful tracks. You see? Yeah. Maji, we are about to close. Uh, we spoke about the competition. Now, what's next for you? And also, what advice can you give upcoming artists, upcoming musicians, whether they want to go on idols or not? Mm. This is the opportunity to do that. Oh, uh, my guy. Hey, what you're asking is too deep. Uh, how many minutes yeah, yeah. do I have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got about how many three minutes. minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, how are you guys doing, man? It's the king of soul in essay, the king of R&B soul in essay, Mr. Overking Ramabo. You better know this. Uh, look, everyone who's talented must decide for themselves if they want to do something with the talent. Not everybody who has a talent is supposed to do something with it. That is, that, that is number one. Not everybody who has a talent needs to do something with the talent because Some people can just sing at church and be satisfied. Some people can just sing with their family and be satisfied, you see? So be honest with yourself first. That's where I can start. Be honest with yourself first. And if you're going to choose an industry or a particular space, even if you can't afford the necessary schooling for that, please take time to learn about the industry. Take time to advance yourself in that industry. Take time to develop yourself in that space and keep on knocking for opportunities that can provide you with qualifications or something substantial that you can keep using in the future for your hustle. Uh, musicians, any platform is available, but the stories are not the same. 
Who are you? Where are you from? What kind of story are you trying to tell? That's always important. And where you are going, are you not going to lose yourself? How founded are you in your connection with your God before you get into a space that is filled with so many spirits, okay? So understand yourself, develop yourself, and always ask for advice. Never be complacent in whatever you do, man. Never be complacent. Uh, but always be confident. Hmm? Always be confident. Because why else choose a field out of so many if you're going to be timid about it, you know? So when you choose something, when you choose a field, be confident and go for it fully, okay? Go for it fully. But remember that other people can have a plan B, blah, 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 blah. Hence, I'm saying at the end of the day, after all the advice and all the roots have been discussed, it's up to an individual. You must make yourself happy. You must make yourself proud. You must make God proud. So maintain a humble attitude, you know, and go through this journey with it. Never diss others, man. Don't diss others. Don't diss others. Grow yourself. Uh, what else can do? This is too much, man. <laughs> my brother, my brother, my brother. Thank you very much for your time. Wow, those yeah. are wise words, man. You you kind of made me a kind of emotional, man, because I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> of your journey. I'm thinking of things that you went through. Yeah. And, yeah. and what you're about to do for the for the country. Oh, another one Thank I didn't mention for... is Lebu Hey! Uh, I worked with, yes. The mic. So, so I, I, I directed, uh, I, I co-directed the <laughs> DVD uh, in 2013. I co-directed that one. I was choir director for that one. I arranged the vocals, you see. So even label, hi label. Yeah, man, yeah. I so, must get it on the platform as well. <laughs> yeah, that would be dope, man. On. No? Yeah, I yeah, will, yeah. I will definitely. I will. Yeah. My brother, thank you very much. All the best in your, in your future. Uh, I'm looking forward to listen to the album. I'm looking Please. forward to give away some of the album. I'm looking forward to the feedback as well uh, from the yeah. people I know, definitely. They will give feedback. Public feedback. Uh, public. They must do it. <laughs> public. Yeah, we need public feedback. We need public feedback. <laughs> Thank you very much, my brother, for your time. All the best, man. All the best in everything that you're going to be doing. Yo, man, all the best to you too, man, and everything you're doing, my G. You know, you're a media guru in the making. Keep at it. Keep the focus. We're going to meet in that space, my guy. When you interview me next time, we both should be in a different space, yeah? Thank you. I receive. I'm done. I have thank you, Maji. Hola, hola. You know this. Wow, guys. Yo! An amazing, an amazing, creative, amazing guy, man. Um, give it up for Oba King, Ramabua. He's a talented guy. He's humble. He's focused. I can't wait to give away CDs to you guys. Uh, as you had the five uh, subscribers that are going to subscri subscribe to the channel i'm going to give away cds too to you guys so uh i'll give you details uh on on our uh social media platforms uh ducky radio on facebook ducky underscore radio on twitter and instagram yeah i'll give you more details in terms of that uh and then we'll, we'll we'll talk more man we'll talk more about other people we'll talk about uh we'll, we'll interview more people hey I want space lazy man. It's it's deep. Yeah, well, shout out to him, shout out to him, and shout out to you guys for joining us. But wasn't the Isaac Nabo Esther. A king to a queen. Kotia Zoruga Rendani Zoe Naronewa. Ndende. I'm out of here, but it is the hot seat. <laughs>